It is said that the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Following a damning assessment by a German Harvard professor likening coconut oil to pure poison, a local herbal physician says the proof of the coconut oil is in its consumption. Karen Michaels, an epidemiologist at the Harvard School of Public Health, poured scorn on coconut oil, calling it one of the worst things you can eat. The speech, delivered in German, has now been watched nearly a million times on YouTube. Priest Kailash Léonce is the chairman of the Great Physician International, a company that deals with the eradication of disease using herbs. He says there has been a steady smear campaign against coconut oil, campaigns which he says are often influenced by big money. This is not the first time that our traditional coconut oil has been if you really look at it scientifically through, through observation, what you would see is that our ancestors, that means our great grands and our grandmothers, who were using coconut oil, they had much, a much lower incidence of heart disease than the people who today use the vegetable oil. And we must also look at the whole intention of people when it comes to who's funding that study. And when somebody from Harvard or Oxford says something, everybody, everyone is ready to jump on the train. What I analyze critically is, is the, the clinical trials or the trials, which is basically the lives of the people who have been living in the abundance of coconut oil for over 100 years, 200, 300, 400 years. If it was that bad of a poison as people are claiming it to be, and trust me, even 50 years ago, St. Lucia and all St. Lucians would have had heart disease. So at the end of the day, many people have what they call the economic reason. So the same way, or somebody will tell you, oh, alcohol is bad, then another scientist will come out and say, oh, a glass of red wine, and it helps to boost up the heart. So everyone actually does research to benefit the economic end. Priest Kailash, who studied medicine for two years in Cuba and then at the American University of Antigua College of Medicine, where he completed the basic sciences, says he utilizes coconut oil in his practice as chairman of the great physician for various ailments. Coconut oil is something that I use myself on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, I don't, I don't, my cholesterol is not high. You know, I'm not new I, 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 I use that for children, the virgin coconut oil, especially when they are stuffed up with mucus. Warmed over uh, uh, some warm tea, you know, could help properly project out that mucus as a lubrication for the colon, my laxative as something to remove toxins from the joint, um, a tablespoon of coconut oil specifically for diabetics, for people with Alzheimer's, for people with neurological conditions, and, and the nutty flavor in the food. I mean, it's supreme, it's, and, and also the heat stability of coconut oil and the red palm oil from Africa, that is better than all the virgin coconut oil. So it is, it is our experience, what we have experienced over the years, what we have utilized when it is that you have a, a congested sinus or you have a head cold, your mother would combine red lavender, right, with coconut oil and some other essences and actually sit that in your head and that's it, and you feel good. You know, so we must... Grab, grab hold of and, and find the scientific verification of what our ancestors have been doing over the years. But it is something we use on a day-to-day -day basis, and it has given us tremendous results. Harvard professor Corrine Michaels made her comments in a recent lecture entitled Coconut Oil and Other Nutritional Errors at the University of Freiburg, where she holds a second academic position as director of the Institute for Prevention and Tumor Epidemiology.